Is everyone ready? Yes, everyone will be there. But how are we to pray and contemplate like this? I don't dare even to send my choir out there. We shall get used to it, all of us. We must be thankful for all of this, for each noise, each face that disturbs us here. We shall start with the chancel, then gradually work our way from east to west. That's the way it's done, the way I was taught to do it. I value your enthusiasm, my dear Mason, but so far we're only cleaning up. I haven't even considered hiring a master builder yet, neither you nor anyone else. May I show you some drawings? By all means. Look here first. If you were facing the cathedral with the front wall torn down, you would see it like this. Interesting. What's that, coming out from above the entrance? That's the tower, of course. I thought so, but why is it right above the nave? Shouldn't it be closer to the transept? Oh, don't be fooled. The tower is, of course, farther back, but one cannot show depth in a drawing. Ah, of course. How high will it be? How high would you like it to be? I am not looking for another Tower of Babel, just for something modest, yet awe-inspiring. <laughs> Tell me more about the Knave. The Knave will be about 32 feet high, and will appear even higher. Drawing the eye heavenward with its loftiness. Well said. A chamber worthy of God. I always wondered how walls this high could hold up so well. You recognize the aisles? Of course. I've been in quite a few churches in my time. Did you know then that their purpose is to support the nave? Fascinating. I must say, you do know your craft, Master Builder. The walls of the nave are held by the aisles and buttresses bearing the pressure from the side. Very interesting. What about the other drawings? When we walk around the site, we mark where the walls will be, the pillars, the doors, and buttresses. Now for that, we need a plan like this, to tell us where to place our pegs and string. Is this how birds would see our church? Exactly.
The chancel will have four bays. Hmm. What about the nave? The nave is on the left. It has six bays. Hmm. 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 I can see the transept is two bays wide, so it will be twelve in total. It does look splendid, but isn't that rather small? Well, can you afford to build it bigger? I have trouble affording it at all. The king grants us timber and stone and wool from Shiring's pastures. But only God knows if it will be enough. I don't suppose you have any idea how much this would cost. I know exactly how much this would cost. It would be no more than three thousand pounds. I've spent the last few weeks working out the annual income of the Priory. Here's the answer. Three hundred pounds a year. And we spend every penny. Go on now, show me the rest of your drawing. Imagine you're standing in the center of the nave, looking at the wall. This is what you see. Are those windows? Right, but that's not all. On top are the clear story windows. Starting right in the middle is the Tribune Gallery. Shall I go on? Yes, yes, of course. I was just thinking. Keep going. On the lowest level are the pillars of the arcade. They're joined by arches making up the bays. Through the archways, you can see the windows in the aisle. I can see you have put a lot of thought into this. I was just wondering... How long would this take to build? You can take your time with that answer. Depends on how many people you employ. If you hire 30 masons with enough labourers, apprentices, carpenters and smiths, they will be done in 15 years. I wish my monastic officials had your ability to think ahead and calculate. So, I need to find 200 pounds a year. It doesn't sound so bad when you put it that way. You really want to build this cathedral yourself, don't you? Yes, Father. I want you to appoint me Master Builder. Why? Because he wants to give people hope. Is that so? Then answer me this one last question. If people were to enter your church, what image? would they see crowning the tympanum above the entrance? One of Judgment Day to teach people to be good? Or one of Paradise to remind them of God's mercy? Show them hell, so that they're afraid to do bad things. Hmm, I'd rather see trees and animals. It should be the promise of a better life. Therefore, it will show heaven. Yes. Milius, is there news of my brother? No, uh, unfortunately not. 
No one has seen or heard from him since the Bishop and Percy Hamley were here. Papa, will there be statues inside? Statues? Oh, that's enough, children. It's time you went out and played. Briar. Yes? My first wife, Agnes. She died without a priest, and she's buried in unconsecrated ground. Sometimes a man builds a chapel, or founds a monastery, in the hope that in the afterlife, God will remember his piety. I just wonder, do you think my design might serve to protect Agnes's soul? God no longer asks for blood sacrifices, for the ultimate sacrifice has already been made. But the lesson of Abraham's story is that God demands the best we have to offer, that which is most precious to us. So you must ask yourself, is this design the best thing you could offer? Except for my children, yes. Then rest easy, Tom Builder. God will accept it. Jack, do me a favor and give Paul these herbs, will you? But he's a monk. You don't like monks. Well, it turns out not all of them are bad. <laughs> Still, be careful before you trust any one of them. Uh, there he is! Give her prior the welcome he deserves. Oh, um, you know, I am only following God's will. Prepare to raise the bell. Make the prior proud. <laughs> well, um, thank you. Go on, Jack. Don't forget about Paul's herbs. Where have I seen that woman before? Um, hey. What are you doing? I'm supervising. Tom asked me to. We see eye to eye now, you know. He asked me things and I can say yes or no. Huh. Hey, did you tell him that I had trouble with him? You bastard. I told you not to. I have to carve up some steaks later. If you want, you can help me. Or you can do whatever the hell it is you're doing all day. It's your call. Mother, will you hold on to my slingshot? What? Why? I don't want to hurt people anymore. Jack, what did you do? Nothing. I just don't want to hurt anyone, that's all. You know, if you're capable of hurting people with a slingshot, you can also hurt them without. Keep your slingshot, and be kind to whomever deserves it. 
That's the only way to be good. I shouldn't. I could destroy something. Hm. Whatever. Good day, boy. If you see your mother, tell her the pain's gotten worse. I think I might take her up on our offer now. Oh, oh don't you ever get as old as I am, boy. Tis not natural. This is from my mother. Oh, bless her, boy. Whatever Remedia says, your mother is a saint. Oh, is that the bell? Can you see it from here? A bell without a cathedral. Your father certainly had strange ideas. <laughs> it might be. What's a bell? Excuse me. You. I remember you. You're the boy with no father. Actually, I have two fathers now. Is that so? Yes. Tom Builder and Jack Sherberg. I thought you weren't the Builder's son. Well, I am now. I have to say, Pyre Philip told me there would be a lot of sheep here. I can see he wasn't exaggerating. You know Philip too? I do. He's the reason I'm here. Is he around? He should be around somewhere. Busy man, that fellow. But don't worry. You probably won't have to look for him for long. All right. Thank you. Shall we go after them? No. Now we know where we can find them. Ha! Ho! <laughs> My bishop, William Hamley, has returned to see you. Send him in, Timothy. We have much to discuss. <laughs> 